Oh my gosh! I don't know where he went. Ow. Ow! He's gonna kill me. Hey everyone, Mix here, and happy Halloween to you all, or rather happy early Halloween. I say that because I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to push out a video on Halloween, although I will try, because we are back with Alan Wake 2, and I'm enjoying every single moment of it, and I'm really trying to just play as much as I can here. Now, um, I gotta say that there have been some talks with some critics out there that it's a bit slow what with the investigation part but I personally think that it's important to put yourselves in these characters shoes to really immerse yourself in the whole mystery of it all granted it's going to be uh, their first time experiencing this wacky world that Alan Wake has built here now um, as much as I love playing as a saga um, I'm really, really hoping that today we get to actually play as he himself, Alan Wake. So let's not waste another minute and let's get to it. He didn't have a heart, but he still he caught up the case board. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. That he did, Sam Wake. What the hell is going on here? I mean, Casey. We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Oh, uh, we were attacked by dead men. What happened to the sheriff? Let's go with the obvious. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but <laughs> we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you, you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Um... What happened to the sheriff? Yeah, indeed. He just disappeared. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious. Oh my god. Like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. Oh, I can't even look at it yet. Alright, is this the work of the cult? The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Hmm. Is there a connection? Looks to me Pretty like the sure. cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Mm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. They, they appear to be pretty level-headed with what just happened here, but hey. There's one of the pages on the floor. Yeah, but first let's inspect this poor officer. Oh my god. These pages are important. Breaker dropped one before he disappeared. I didn't think he was that messed up. I thought he was just pushed pushed to the side. All right, let's see what's going on with this page. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Yes. Okay. I guess we're taking a trip back to the mind place here. Uh, Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't. A taken, a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach. Where some other strange reality, the dark place, merged with ours. This place and the dark place. A tarp thrown over top. Drowning everything beneath it. A flood of darkness. Soaking into everything. Spoiling it. Rotting it. The page called the, this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. Required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster, her job, before he killed again, he'd be inside, waiting for her. Okay. Um, uh, we don't have to go through this. We've pretty much experienced that. Let's move on to documents. If I could, close that out. Case board. Okay. Nightingale attacked us. Yes, he did. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Yep. Pages predicting the future. Yep. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. It feels a lot like X-Files, you know, and you got Mulder and Scully on the case. Um, what is that? 
what did that say? Saga had to pursue Nightingale instead of Overlap. Okay, so these are just like photocopies of the manuscript we just read. Here we go. Okay, another one. <clears throat> I guess I didn't place this anywhere yet, huh? Oh, there we go. Case We're is closed. We're with an organized group of killers. Not a lone serial killer. All right. Next up, Cult of the Tree. Background cases accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. I need to know more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. Uh-huh. No, that's not going there. I guess this is. Cult symbol. Cult psychology. Keep trying. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, uh Cult goal. I mean, it's pretty easy once you just kind of maneuver around the map and what makes sense. I just wish it would be a little quicker, but it's okay. Okay, okay. And I got only victim has murder matched the other victims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. And the writing was part of the ritual. Okay, the cult of the trees performing rituals. Yeah, okay. There we go. Cool. Uh, I believe that's it for that. Let's go to radio. Oh, this is the um, the song that played at the end of the last chapter. We won't play it now just in case, you know, it is DMCA because uh, we don't want that. We don't. Although I will say we didn't get struck on the first video. But just to be safe, I think we are done. Are we done? Let's go back to Cauldron Lake. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. All right. Let's head on out. Track Nightingale at Cauldron Lake. We were just there. Oh. We, we heard gunshots. Y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. Yes, it is. But we'll do what we can, man. All right. I wonder if there's any clues around here that we might need to... Oh, there are. Oh, shit. What was that? I don't know what it is I picked up. It looked like ammo. They look like shotgun shells. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do Oops. anything? He's dead. So, in a way, it is important for us to explore a bit, just in case there's going to be some lore, which I know for a fact that some of you do like. So, we'll keep our eyes peeled. Alright, let's have him up. Why turn off my flashlight? There we go. Okay, so that's handgun ammo, battery pack, painkillers. Got it. Yeah, so it looks like flashlight, the light, the battery, <laughs> it does run out. Just like the first game. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. Adventure tours? What? Tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. It's only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. <laughs> oh, this is great. Is this gonna be like. <laughs> Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Costco 
brother is adventure tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Neil Mokoska, La Boutique Best, Coffee Roaster slash Tour Guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. Oh, wow. We have both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. That is hilarious. How did they get this aired? <laughs> Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. These guys must be hacks. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. Tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermal. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. I wonder if um I wonder if that is going to be replacing that show that would sometimes air uh, in the first game. I can't remember the name of it. It was kind of like the Twilight Zone. But that was fun. How about anything in here? <gasps> there is. Oh my, my god. Client has been held here long yeah, enough. it's good that we stock up now just in case we need. Me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. What's this? Someone will be right with you. Okay, we're not going to read all of that. I'm sorry. That is way too much. <laughs> I know you guys love the lore, but I don't want to spend my whole entire playthrough today in the office. Let's get out of here. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Oh, I guess we're not leaving it. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I do like seeing like more people outside in the town. Because I don't think we actually had that in the, in the first game. It was very, like, deserted almost. I can't remember why. Maybe because, you know, the darkness was taking over. <laughs> Alright, there's our car. Am I driving? The car can be used to travel between locations. Got it. Oh, so this is a fast travel? I, I actually kind of like that. Versus having to drive from point A to I point need B. To come clean, Anderson. Whoa. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Mm -hmm. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. <laughs> Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Hmm. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. 
you know, it's this kind of dialogue that makes me think of, like, what Nightingale's perspective was in the first game. Because they were both FBI agents. What I'm saying is I love seeing this perspective here. The heart. All right. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. All right. And I'm... Oh, what's this? Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. I suppose we're heading this way. It's kind of like Casey's my guide dog. The writer of these pages <laughs> knows what will happen. He's pointing in the because right direction. Behind this, or because no. they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. Remember, the world operating on different rules. We're keeping track of things that we can logic. get to, to see the like clues. this. To solve the case. Oh, I could go way deep in the woods. Oh, papers. What is all this? The rarest wildlife in the Pacific Northwest? Oh, I'm not reading all of that, you guys. I will read it while I edit, but go ahead and pause to your leisure and get in all that lore. That is a lot of lore. What I'm hoping to get, though, is like... I don't know, some manuscripts or some ammo, some batteries. Because Nightingale is out and about, and I'm sure we're going to meet him once again. I beat you. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the Got full people picture here. yet. Yeah, let's talk to these hey. guys. Hello there. What's up, How are dude? You doing? Are you authorized to be here? Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. Oh, that's the guy from the video. Yes. Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? You know about the murder? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the guy from that video we just watched. How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name yeah. around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna da Vista. <laughs> <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this machine? That's a good question. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic <gasps> activity and air toxicity levels. Oh, there it no is. Need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. There's the connection. One gorgeous weather saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. I have to explain here. The Federal Bureau of Control is what was uh the main feature in the game control that came out just before this game here brilliant game but it was also we, we found out it was connected to the alan wake universe and so we're trying to, we're finally seeing the connection here uh, my mother made this sweater my mother made this sweater for me how do you know i knew it my mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother watery my hometown was founded by finnish immigrants so between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Oh yes, let's talk about the Federal Bureau of Control. Steven, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. 
What can you tell me about your bureau? Yes. Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They hmm. grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. That's all for now. Wow. I'm hoping there's going to be more that we get the when it comes to this connection of Alan Wake and Control. Ah, uh, yes. More documents. Uh, clear signs of tampering. Uh, I'll make a report for the investigations department. Okay. Nothing too alarming there. Yeah, I hope we I hope we even get some cameos. That'd be great. Oh, what's this? Is that a kid's lunchbox? The lunchboxes. Casey movie lunchbox. Oh, cool. Casey Collectibles. Hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. <laughs> We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. Cool. Yeah. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. Oh, we could upgrade weapons? Excuse me? Do I, I only have two? Okay, so we're going to have to save this up here. Um, again and again, more bullets, another headshot. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll get back to it. But what else we have here? We already saw this ad. We already know about this song. Okay, let's continue on. Let's get out of here. Very cool. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. I'd be happy to get you here, A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Wait, what's over here? Can I even see what's over here? No, I can't. Oh, this just loops up. Wait, no, this is something different. Yeah. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this Confused, thing. Confused, follow these a steps. Wash our hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Is that the take a nap. With the tree symbol on it? What? Okay, I think I know what to do here. A creepy twig sculpture? There's a cabin in here. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, what were the steps? Um, wash your hands. Let's read. Wash your hands, chicken nap. Hands, chicken nap. Okay. Wash our hands. Which we cannot do. Unless there's a bathroom. Ah, uh, you see that? Okay, so there's symbols all around. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Ugh. Watch your hands, chicken nap. The symbols are all around, but I don't think we can do anything. Okay, so wash your hands. It's a um, regular triangle, upside down triangle. Oh, this is going to be confusing. Can I do this one by one? Something here. They say the lake is a uh, caldera. Something. Yep. 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 Whatever. <laughs> no time to read all that. Um. I could have sworn I did all this right. We wash our hands. Chicken out of the fridge, and then take a nap. Oh, there we go. I did it wrong. 
Notes awesome. And ammo. Notes and ammo. What does the note say? Don't Looks take like anything if you aren't tree. one of the trees. Oh, I'll just take it anyway. Sure, I am part of the trees. <laughs> Excellent. All right. We're in a safe area right now, I think. So let's head over to the mine place real quick and get to the case board. Uh, lunch boxes. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Sure. Wait. Nope. Okay, cult stashes. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Yeah. Better keep an eye out for more. I gotta admit, it's kind of fun, like, collecting clues for this, uh, for this mind place of ours. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. Mm -hmm. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. She's enjoying it maybe a little too much. <laughs> That's fine. I don't think we need to do any profiling. So let's get out. And I guess let's meet up with Casey again. He should be around this corner here, I think. Unless Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of a nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We find Nightingale, then what? After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved. Forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around. Learn what this ritual is. Like what's here? Another symbol? We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Could I? What else? Bare feet. Nightingale. Oh, follow Nightingale's trail. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? We're Just splitting up? Does she... Comes up, I'll radio you. Does she not, um, watch horror films? Okay. I think, yeah, we, we are following the footsteps. Yeah, I mean, they're giant. Maybe we're dealing with giants. Okay, let's turn on our flashlight. It's getting a little, a little dark, a little spooky. Now, if it's anything like the first game, having our flashlight out right, right now, just the way it is, it's not going to affect our battery life. At least I don't think it is. It's when we actually shine it as if we're aiming. But let's just see if that's the case. Oh... Okay, the footsteps aren't leading there. They're heading over here. We're going to stay on track. Oh. Is that the, the tracks sun? Lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I feel something. A presence. All right, let's, uh, Nightingale isn't far. let's do some profiling real quick here, guys. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree 
was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. So it would appear that we are actually going to head over to um, the other side, the dark place. But do we really want to do that? Oh my god, we're stocking up in ammo. Which is... which finder station? No, that's not where we're going. I'm guessing we're heading over here in this open water area. This is very scary. Which is ladle. Oh, is this that witch from the first movie? I'm going to keep saying that, you guys. <laughs> Uh, there's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are, are many mystery stories, mysterious stories about the lake, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named the Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before she was, what now? She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. I do believe we are referring to uh, uh, Mr. Nightingale here. Oh god, there's the ladle. What is that? These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. There it is. My flashlight awesome. burned the dark stuff away. It was covering That's so another cool. page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Okay. So we head to the mind place again? The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. Mm. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos. A shoe thermos. Box, a mop and a bucket. A poster on the wall. And in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Okay. Is that all we have to do here? Oh no, just more here to the case. That's not called psychology. Of cult symbols, duh. Okay, that's it for that. And then murder a cauldron lake. Nightingale's trail led to another page. Mm. Is this even where I need to be? I'm not seeing any connections here for with anything. Oh wait, we found it. Think. I thought I did. There it is. Okay. Okay.
Light is the key. To stay safe. But for something more to be revealed as well. That doesn't come here? Oh, it's over there. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? Yes, it is, yeah, Saga. If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. All right. We've connected everything. Let's get out of here. I need to find the Witch's Hut. Right. Where? Where do we... I'm guessing through here? No, we can't even... Can I? Oh no, I wasted a battery. How do I crouch? Can I... Am I supposed to crouch and go under that? Where am I going? I feel like I'm not going the right way. was that? I think we've uh, found where we need to go. This is the witch's hut. Ah, we found it, guys. The witch's hut. Oh, I'm scared. The page described the hut being lit. Where? And mentioned a fuse. In the cabinet, right? That's what he said. Oh, here we go. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Look at a fuse in the immediate area. I need to find one. Okay. To turn on the lights. It's gotta be somewhere over here, right? This fuse is busted. Damn. Of course it is. Uh care <laughs> i'm sorry we're on an important task here and we don't want to waste time that is a first aid kit don't know how i feel this about one that looks good people should really stop littering though indeed do we only need one i, oh, I guess so Excellent. Very good, very good. The break room is a place where you can save your progress. Oh. All right. We have a quick save. Excellent. Another page. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Through the hole in the sign. We need to go back to that, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to go back to the, the, the that, that witch symbol. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let's go over here real quick. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Okay. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Okay, so I need the heart still. Where is the heart? Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. 
Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words, the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory, the words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. My guess is once we do this ritual, there's going to be a boss fight. <laughs> I'm just saying. Nightingale profiling. The heart. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? Cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Dark spots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. Well, damn. Then we there can't do the more. ritual. The heart. Where is it? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? While they played cards in the general store, the witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Oh. Nightingale's heart is at the general store in a fridge. So we have to head back to town? I mean, that's kind of what it sounds like. the general store for the heart. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. I don't get it. Is the general store back in town? I see a light up ahead. I'm guessing that's where we need to go. Oh. Yeah, noises are a direction, I would assume. Is this the general this is the general store. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going to we're going to find something in here. Something in the fight. Because there's a light up there that's what we need to do to go to for a safe place. Hello? Anyone here? I mean, you can bet your ass they're going to be protecting this heart. Christ. <sighs> okay, it's going to be in one of these boxes here. These, um, coolers. And I think it's on the floor. <laughs> Oh my god. A cultist. A monster. Like Nightingale. Uh, do, do I need to heal? Um... Okay, yeah, we, we're, we're out of battery life already. Okay. Uh, that's exactly where it is, but I want to pick up this note here. It's a manuscript page. Saga at the Saga general store. Saga toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. <laughs> Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the General Store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. Oh boy. Please, please tell me there isn't going to be more here. Where's the hut? There it is. 
Okay. Please, battery life. Why can't I pick it up? I can't pick it up. Whatever's in there. Whatever. There it is. The text on the heart is clearer now. The wave Legible. crashed on the far side of the mirror. Oh, words on the heart. Sounds literary, but what does it mean? Far side of the mirror. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Why did we open this if I can't collect that? That's, that's kind of annoying. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. Okay. I think we are done here. Um... this another med pack batteries thank god okay uh we should reload that now right yeah just in case it's in here <gasps> more backpack space oh my god there's a shotgun check with lady fortuna at the counter okay there's gonna be another code at the counter here Get the uh, the shotgun. Let's see, if I were a code, where would I be? Can I shed some light? No. Seven oh five, seven thirteen, seven seventeen, seven two three. Um. Huh? There's like a b billion codes here. I probably should have checked that lock. Let's go to that lock again. See what kind of lock it is. 705. No, 723. No, what was the other one? It's a three digit code. That is something we are certain of. Seven one three seven one seven. Seven one three seven one seven. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Hmm. I don't think this is relevant. Yeah, I don't think it is either. Do we skip on the shotgun for now? I mean, I kind of feel like I shouldn't. And we need to get that. Hold on one sec, guys. Few moments later. <laughs> I found it, guys. Don't worry about it. I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Quick slot weapons from the inventory. How do, how do I quick slot? Ah, there we go. So we'll do that. Quick slot this. And quick slot this. All right. Look at us go. All right, we're ready to move on now, I think, I hope. And Casey. There are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. I'm gonna Watch yourself out hold there. off on the yeah, shotgun thanks, for a boss fight. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's the 
these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. <laughs> They're both taking this very much in stride. It's actually uh, quite entertaining. It's as, it's, it's as if they're used to this kind of, uh, kind of stuff. Okay, I see another light up ahead, which means we're probably going to encounter some sort of enemies. So prepare yourself. Which way is the ladle? Hi. Pardon me. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, I see. God, I wasted so much Good ammo job, there. Now keep moving. So we actually have to aim for where we're shooting at with the light, the flashlight, if you know what I mean. God, I wasted so much ammo. Okay, this has to be the sign right here, right? Yes, it is. Nightingale's heart. Here we go. Show me, Show the, me terror. the terror. Oh boy. Boss fight. Boss fight. It's gotta be a boss fight. Ugly. This is so cool. Oh my god, this might be my favorite game of the year, guys. Enter the overlap through Witch's Ladle. Okay. I mean, if it were me, I would probably wait for Casey. Defeat Nightingale? Are you gonna give me more batteries? I'm out of batteries. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Uh, I'm gonna heal up real quick at least. Oh. Okay, we're gonna open up with a shotgun. That's what we're gonna do. Since he is the boss here. I mean, are you gonna give me at least another couple batteries? I feel like I deserve a couple batteries here, just saying. Logan? Oh. Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Logan's <laughs> back in Virginia. You're imagining things. It's in here. Might be some ammo here. Okay, no ammo. Thank you, game. I like that you've got my back. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be terrible. We might actually die in this fight just because like we're out of batteries for the for the flashlight. I mean, maybe we don't need it for Nightingale, but I mean, I think we do. Just saying. Alan? What was that? What was that? That Wait. was Alan. Did oh. I get turned around? No, this is right. 
This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Manuscript page. And you see, anytime that I use that, even for a damn page, it's gonna waste my battery. Manuscript page. Nightingale enters the, the lake. went into the lake. Banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. Into the lake. Nightingale was there. One of them. The dark presence. Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place. Wandering in the shadows. Muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please. Stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. Yeah, okay. You gotta give me some ammo here, man. Some ammo and some damn batteries. Please. I had the same issue in the first game. But that's the challenge, right? It... <sighs> the crows. This is normal mode, by the way. So maybe the, the fight won't be that difficult. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh, hi, Nightingale. Oh, he could pop out of nowhere now, huh? It's over here. God. He's here, Nightingale. Yes, he is. Okay, he's gonna be through that hole. Check over here. Come on, game. Be a pal, please. No ammo. Oh my god. This better be the easiest boss fight, I swear. Cultist symbols. I like that it's fading into like the alternate reality. Oh my god, you are a pal. Thank you, game. Nightingale's badge. Give me all of this. Do I take this? No. Fine. Okay. Not heading down there, obviously. And I, I hope this is enough um, battery power. Oh my god, there he is. Send to find the light switch. This is weird. The cave. Okay, the game saved. It could only mean one thing. Oh, you got a weapon. Oh, I 
kill him? Gotta get away. Where? Get to safety. Oh my god. Run. Are we safe? <sighs> okay. Um. Am I out of shotgun ammo? Oh my gosh. Okay. Back to handgun. Why isn't it working? Oh, that hurt. I don't have a lot of ammo left, guys. And I noticed that my flashlight isn't really working on him, so I'm kind of guessing that we don't need to flash it. What did I pick up there? Handgun ammunition, thank god. Okay. Um, I suppose we should heal up. Oops. Oh my gosh! I don't know where he went! Ow. Ow! Oh. He's gonna kill me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need to heal. Oh god! Oh, I forgot I could actually, like, dodge. I don't know why I'm not doing that. I'm, like, out of ammo. How am I supposed to beat him if I don't have any ammo? Oh, I'm dead. Got him. Oh my gosh. That was hard. That was like really, really difficult. Jeez. <gasps> there he is. Who are you? What is this? Who are you? Did you hear me? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. 
can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Oh, what did we open up? It's him! Hey! Oh my god. He's back. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! He got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. Oh. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... He's changed the story. The dark presence. We must stop it. Before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. Yes. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? The lake. You've been missing for 13 years. 13. Oh my god. God. <laughs> wow. And I think this is a different song. Is there a different song for each end chapter? <sighs> yeah, I think this is a different... Yeah, this is definitely a different um, song here. But there you guys have it. That was the end of chapter two. And that was uh, definitely a lot more action packed here i mean i uh gotta admit i did not expect to have a boss fight let alone it being nightingale and my god was he tough because not only is he super overpowered but you know it's like i said this game along with the first game it uh ammo ammunition and uh flashlight batteries are very scarce luckily for us we were able to manage to find um everything that we needed to take down Nightingale. We just needed to, you know, make sure he's not too close to us, you know, just draw enough distance and boom, bam, boom, we got him. But that was tough, man. And it was very gripping and my hands are definitely very sweaty, but damn, did that, was that freaking awesome, you know? And when it comes to the end of this chapter here with Alan Wake coming back, um, it actually leaves the question, did he come back or did Saga actually go to where he is you know this other side where the darkness is you know because you know when we were traveling uh trying to find nightingale it showed the different alternate universes kind of colliding so it kind of makes you think like wh where are we right now i mean obviously we are going to find out about this um hopefully maybe in the next episode but again there you guys have it let me know in the comments what you thought of this chapter um are you yourself playing this game? Have you finished it? Have you collected all your manuscripts? Have you made sense of it all? Let me know down in the comments just as long as you keep it spoiler free. But until then, I'm going to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, do not forget to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing as well as ring the bell so that you are notified for the next video. And that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you all so much again for watching. My name is MigsXL and happy Halloween.